you know now you're waiting two three four weeks to get parts from somewhere north pole i don't know the elves are making that stuff now or what welcome everybody to life uncensored where you basically get to watch me in competition against myself every single day same thing you do we go out there life tries to kick our ass every day and we do our best to come out on the winning side <laughs> it already woke up all screwed up the morning was chaos and no work got done not one dime of revenue was made today that's real life so come on come this way and we'll talk about some more let you know what happened because we have to hit the rewind button till yesterday and last night yeah come on so yesterday these wheelbarrows trailers of mulch killed me all right by the time my day was over right here right there ah dude that was raging in pain my knees from doing the pimp job on the edges throbbing okay feeling my age yesterday the heat was unbearable around that building with no trees or shade it's pretty much a miserable job it ended up beautiful and i came home early so that's a win-win right i added up the figures i called off the rest of the day I didn't want to go mow grass. We were all tired, cranky. We were done. So I get home nice and early. Very happy about that. <laughs> I am in such pain. I sit down in my chair in my office and my garage. I don't move for hours. I, I just don't move. Drink some coffee. And I finally get up. And try to move that muscle man i just had to dig in dig in dig in and just kind of just I, I really just wanted someone to hit it with a sledgehammer 12 times just to free it all up man that's the way life goes when you're getting old okay so ha, fast forward to that night by the time nighttime rolls around i'm such a procrastinator that it was 2 a.m. after I uploaded that video for all of you guys to watch this morning at 6 a.m. Okay, 2 a.m., I take a shower, I go to bed. I'm supposed to get up and be picking up the boys at 8.15, okay? Loaded up, ready to rock this weekend out. Weekend. The hell? I don't even know what day it is. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. All right. Okay. I <laughs> tossed and turned all night. Did not sleep well at all. No rhyme or reason to it. I, I don't know why. I know that I woke up with aches and pains in my ankles from sleeping wrong. Whatever. Price you pay for me is skinny and bony sometimes. <laughs> right. So, this morning when I was supposed to be there, there's no way I was getting there on time. There's no way. Dalton texted me five minutes before I woke up. Hey, what's up? You awake? Man, I just, I didn't want to get up that early. I was like, nah, dude, just, I don't feel good. Push it. Just push it. Okay. We'll start at 10. Okay. I'll pick up at 10. We had one of our guys, Evan, supposed to come out and help, man. He planned his day to come help us. Basically, I woke up knowing I was almost broke. Now, two reasons that I kind of figured I didn't sleep well. My body was exhausted, probably a little dehydrated, and I just kind of tossed and turned. Wasn't comfortable all night. Second reason is when you don't have money and you need money to survive and you got to have money to start the next day and do anything with it, hey man, you get low in that bank account. That's like the angel of death. Even if you're not consciously thinking about it or worrying about it, because I don't worry about that stuff. I just work hard. But it, it can affect your sleep for sure. 
everybody that's watching this knows that. <sighs> Alright, so if you've been watching the other videos, you already know that it has been a drought here. We did not mow any grass for like two weeks, so I knew that revenue was not going to be there. We lined up a whole bunch of other jobs, and that's what we've been doing. Those are the last couple of videos on the channel. Those jobs created enough revenue for me to go pick up $4,500 worth of money today. All right. So I knew the day was going to be a bust and we weren't going to make any money. I also knew number one priority, I got to go grab the money that I've already made and get it in the bank so we can be divvied out to every direction that it goes, <laughs> which is plenty of direction. I sat down, did the invoice, and as I was doing the invoice, I also realized that the insurance payment came out last night of my account. It's down bad, man. It's down real bad. So, I'm not freaking out or nothing. I'm, I'm always kind of calm and chill for the most part. But, while I'm doing all this, I get a phone call from the Dodge place where I have my truck from. The Dodge is getting recalled. Just one more thing, okay? The morning's been chaos. Chaos, all right? Come on, we'll finish over here. So this is what I walked away with today. Boom. Man, <laughs> I don't know. The day started off bad. Go ahead. Ooh, ah, brand new Dodge Ram. Man, this is the fifth Dodge Ram I've had this year. This year, the fifth one. I mean, beautiful, but if they're getting recalled every two months, I mean, man, if I didn't have the deal on this truck that I have, and I was waiting on parts at this time in the history, I'd be screwed, totally screwed, right? Everybody knows how it is to have a truck break down. You know, now you're waiting two, three, four weeks to get parts from somewhere, North Pole. I don't know, the elves are making that stuff now or what? But, hey... It's truck number five, Dodge Ram, Cummins Turbo Diesel. They keep getting recalled, different reasons, here and there, whatever. We're going to work this baby this week. And if I decide to get the other one back after they do the, the fix-all on it, I can. I'll tell you what, it's a little shorty bed. My last trucks have all been eight-footers. This bed is only six feet, okay? So... When I was driving this today around town, kind of liked the way it maneuvered, all right? I ain't gonna lie. And we'll look inside real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, so truck is beautiful, all right? Don't get me wrong. Just gorgeous truck. It has a huge, huge computer screen up here in the front. Uh, it's got the trailer brake system already in the truck. You don't have to have any outside wiring to it or anything like that. The four-wheel drive system, I don't even have to take it out of drive to go from two-wheel to four-wheel high. You do have to shift into neutral to go to four-wheel low, but it's very convenient for this driveway. <laughs> this driveway, I got to put it four-wheel drive sometimes just to get out of it, it with no slippery conditions. <laughs> so the machine itself is an amazing, amazing piece of work. Okay, don't get me wrong, I love it. But, so, we compare the big white one that I've been driving around that was a 2022 to this more eh, original color. I don't really like white work trucks. I told you guys that videos ago, white work trucks everywhere, all over the place. Never been a fan. This one's got a pretty badass color to it. I like it. And, even better... This was just put out for sale June 22nd of this year. It only has 500 miles on it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, look, the day started getting better. 
but that was around 12:30, you know. Well, around 10:30, I got the news that my invoice had been received and the checks will be ready at lunchtime. So, that's a win-win right there. That was all taken care of. Don't ever get too far behind on that kind of stuff because you're really getting to bind and really a pinch trying to collect money real quick. My clientele, I send them the invoice 99.99% of the time. I'm getting paid that day one way or another because they appreciate my hard work and my services. And I, in return, appreciate their prompt payments. Payments. Pay. Pay. Yeah, pay. All right, that's up. I, I'm going to end up keeping it and using it, okay? The bed size, we're going to see how easy it is to cram three weed eaters and blowers and two push mowers and everything else in the back of it, but I damn sure like that color a lot better. Yeah. Thumbs up if you like this color better than the white one that I had. Yeah. Thumbs up if you like any color other than white. <laughs> All right, so let's get back into... The other chaos is going on. The work that wasn't getting done. <laughs> That's how we're all feeling right now. Everybody's burnt out. It's hard. It, we're all burnt out. That plant's perfect. It looks just like us at the end of the day. And sometimes, more not right now, it looks like us at the beginning of the day. <laughs> so look, this is a perfect spot. To talk about this because you know I had such a huge plate of work that I was trying to accomplish in a two-day period and now that I think about it that's one of the reasons I didn't sleep well last night I've been trying to get back to this cul-de-sac with all my mansions in it since Friday my schedule got bumped off on Friday because there was a huge estate sale the place was just banging with cars everywhere. There's no way we're going to get through and work. So I've kind of been stressing about getting that place cut, okay? It hasn't grown much. Come on, you know? But I like to keep all my places perfect, okay? And it really just gets up my, my brain when I know the stuff's not perfect, the way it should be, the way it could be. So, all right, that... Was supposed to be done two different times in that failed attempts. I have also been trying to accomplish mulching that backyard. It's been on the list since the end of February. They prepaid for it, okay? Thank God my clients are amazing. Seriously, because I would have I would have had some words with myself by now, honestly. But they see, they know, and they understand. And if your clients don't, my advice, find different clients, okay? As you can see just by one short video here, there's a lot of stress involved trying to get everything accomplished. Um, so that was on the list also, two different times. Had not gotten done. So I had to drive up there because I had a payment from last month's services that was sitting up there waiting for me to pick up. All right. I go down there to pick it up. I've been stressing the whole time about not working today. I was thinking about going out after I got the checks deposited and all that stuff and getting work done. It's hard to sit. I don't like to sit. And pulling up the hill to the mansions, construction trucks everywhere the water authorities up there putting in a new water main for that property i couldn't i couldn't even squeeze my truck in there let alone go up there and mow the place and take care of it and make sure it was all perfect and manicured so look i was stressing a lot when i had no idea of reality that was over there so don't stress over stuff you don't have control over Try your best, even when you know it's a far fetch and a far cry, you're going to succeed everything on your plate. Because I spit everywhere. Try to get everything in a nice working fashion. Everything worked out fine. By 2 o'clock today, I'm maxing and relaxing. You know, I came home with a brand new truck. 
and money in the bank to cover the next couple weeks. Well, two weeks. And I got to hang out with my wife, eat some lunch, chill with my grandson, and talk to you guys about the events of the morning that just told through everything to chaos. Hey, we'll go somewhere else to close it out. Melting out here like that plant, dude. Melting! Keep going. <laughs> Taking my chair, you You don't need to sit down right now. No, I don't. Huh? So look, the conclusion of this day's video is simply this. Not every day is going to be the way you want it to be. And it's going to try to kick your ass, alright? The only difference is the way you see your world through the eyes of thankfulness and patience, understanding that you don't have control over everything, but you do have control of how you react to everything. So, it's okay. We'll let the equipment sit here and rest. Let me rest. I needed it. The boys needed it. And we got three days of hardcore mowing coming up. And we're going to give you the uh, Life Uncensored version now of our mowing days. <laughs> so, y'all be good if you can. Always be kind and love each other. Always, above all, love each other. Peace. Lead Landscape Style.